Pastor Tony Galanti coming back to you again with Prophecy in Christ Above All. And I want to thank all my viewers as well as all my subscribers. Uh, go ahead and hit the likes button, subscribe, and I promise you one thing, I'm going to be bringing the Word of God to you in the purest form I possibly can. I got the Word of God right here at all times. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't get up to here and just do a bunch of rhetoric and stuff. I'm, I'm, I stick to the Word of God and I want to open it up to people and really show them the power of the God's, God, God's truth right here, too. And we need to have a real love for the truth, as it says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, okay? Read through that if you, if you don't understand what I'm trying to say, okay? Because it only leads to salvation. If you don't have a love for the truth, how could there be salvation? It's the Word of God tells you that, okay? All right. So today what I want to do is I want to talk to you about a subject. <clears throat> um, I have seen this a lot in my life. Uh, you know, um, I've seen people do it deliberately on, on purpose at times. I've seen it on television. I've seen it in my life, you know, without TV, you know, just in general. Um, there are people out there who claim to be Christians and yet they'll speak against God. They'll speak in 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 a evil way against God, uh, and some of them will won't be Christians, and they'll tell you that they don't you know they don't care and stuff like that. That's their problem. That's their choice. Let's put it that way. Okay. But um, the thing the thing I'm trying to bring forth here is um, you know we're in a country that God is really blessed, and yet we're starting to fall apart. There's a lot of lawlessness going on. I want to show you that blaspheming is a part of lawlessness. And that, you know, the, it's part of the Antichrist mentality. It's not good, okay? Um, and it's severe. And God does not want us to, you know, people going out there and, you know, degrade, you know uh, how do I say to you, speaking evil about, against who he is. God doesn't want that because he's totally good. I mean, he's totally, absolutely pure and holy. And, and, and wonderful and good, and he gives life, all right, to those people who want it, eternal life to those people who want it, okay? And he doesn't want to be spoken against, okay? So let me just start off with this. I'm going to go into uh, the Psalms, okay? These are just short verses, and I'm going to show you towards the end how, how it really leads to the worst, at least to something that we don't want to move toward, okay, in our life. But it says, uh, Psalms uh, 74, verse... Uh, 18, okay? This is, uh, I believe it's David who wrote this psalm, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me just see here quickly. Uh, no, it was not, I don't believe it, I, I don't know. It might not have been David. Uh, but anyhow, it is a psalm, and it is the word of God. Uh, and it is uh, 74, verse 18. It says here, remember this, okay? Remember this, O Lord, that the enemy has reviled, okay? So the, the enemy of God is reviled. He's making jokes. He's making, you know, he's doing whatever he wants to do. Uh, he wants to speak against who God is, okay? And the foolish people, and a foolish people has spurned thy name, okay? So a foolish people spurn God's name, okay? So, you know, I've seen this. Um, you, you, you sometimes tell people you're a minister, or you don't even have to tell them you're a minister, okay? Uh, and they start cursing. They start saying the GD here, GD there. They start really revving it up. They want to prove that they're tough, like they're smart, like they, they have control of their life. They don't need some Bible, Bible person coming along and telling them what to do. Well, sorry. Uh, maybe you don't need, you know, maybe you don't need a person telling you what to do, but the word of God tells you what to do. That's the key. Um, I've seen, I was watching a program one time, one night, and it was like a, a panel of different people. And, uh, this big, strong looking guy is there, right? And, uh, there was a, uh, this man at one time was a Catholic priest. Okay. And, you know, he didn't, he didn't want to hear this either. You know, I mean, it was an ex-priest. You know, he got out of the priesthood, uh, you know, a Catholic priest. And it doesn't really make a difference what, what, what faith you're in with this kind of situation because it's wrong no matter where, okay? But, uh, you know, I'm particularly not Catholic, but he was a Catholic priest. Listen to this. 
This big, strong guy, once he saw that this man was a, a, a priest at one time, he starts GDing through the panel. And I'm like, what's wrong with that man? What's wrong with him? Something's wrong with that guy. He's blaspheming God. He's not, he's not trying to, you know, take control and show the man he's in control of his life. This is foolishness. We see this on TV all over the place. You know, GDs left and right. They let them go through. We could thank Hollywood for this. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the, the other curse words, they'll bleep out. You go to the movie theater, they do the same thing. You know, I mean, they'll, they'll, you know, they'll, they'll, they won't they'll bleep out the curse words, but you'll see GDs in the, in the movie too sometimes. And it's really, really, really sad and ridiculous in this nation. And this nation, I believe, does a lot more blaspheming than any other nation. Okay. I think every other nation has a lot more respect for God than this nation when it comes to that. Because we are the most powerful nation in the world, and we think we could be the tough guy, you know, the, the good bully. Well, the good bully, if you're really the good bully, supposedly, because we're the most powerful nation in the world, we should not be speaking like that, okay? I remember talking to a guy from Canada one time. He says, well, in Canada, we think of America as a bully, okay? He's, but we see you as a good bully. I says, okay, that's fine, you know, because we have more power than any, any other nation in the world, really. And God has blessed us that way. So what do we do in return and, 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 and bless him with it? What do we do? They blaspheme him? That's wrong, okay? That's not the way to do it. And, you know, disrespecting God, you know, actually teaching evolution is another part of it, you know, Um there's all kinds of things out there. There's lawlessness constantly. And what this all leads up to is that spirit of lawlessness. So it's very, very bad, okay, when you think of it. And I'm not trying to be negative. I'm trying to help people, okay? So um, if we go to, um, I just want to go to, um, let me see here. I think it's Roman. I think it's Romans. No, let's not go to Romans. Uh, let's go to Revelation. I want to just go to Revelation, okay? Um I had a whole bunch of verses, and I said, nah, I'm going to stick with it. Let me show you what I mean by this, okay? If we go to Revelation chapter 13, okay, verse 1, okay? It says here, okay, this is the beast from the sea, okay? All right. And he stood on the sand of the seashore, and I saw a beast, okay, coming up out of the sea, okay? Having ten horns and seven heads. That's, you know, that's, that's, that's the beast, the mark of the beast, per se, the beast there, you know. And on his horns were ten diadems or crowns or whatever you want to call them, okay? Turbans, crowns, whatever you want to call them. You know, like a king has a crown, you know, kind of thing. And on his heads were blasphemous names. See, all this putting God down and disrespecting God and saying evil things against God is pointing to lawlessness, the beast, the beast. The church will be taken out, but we, we as Christians need to be telling people, hey, call it with that word. You understand what that means? You know, we need to do that, okay? And what it does is it builds a bad atmosphere as well, Okay. You know, I've seen football coaches act like that. I've seen all kinds of coaches act like that. I've seen, I've seen uh, bosses act like that. Oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. Ah, uh -uh. And some of them are not Christians at all, and they still act like that. You know, they act like that, too. These words have to stop. They have to stop. You have the power to stop it if you have the Holy Spirit in you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of what? Power. So you have the power to stop it because of the Holy Spirit and of love, and of a sound mind. You realize it's wrong. Be sound in your mind. And do it for the Lord, because you love him. Okay? All right. And then we go on to verse 6 of uh, chapter 13, and it says here, and he opened his mouth, this is the beast, you know, I opened his mouth in blasphemies, Against God, so there you have it. You don't. I don't have to go on, on any further with the and, and to to blaspheme His name and His tabernacle, which is where He stays. Right. Um, that is 
those who dwell in heaven. So now he's even the the, the, the you know the, this 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 antichrist is going to be blaspheming God, even the heaven where the saints are. You know, what did they do to him? He just wants to go completely berserk and go, and that's the spirit. It's the spirit of the antichrist. Okay, you know I don't believe in these. Uh, you know, some of these Christians, they go, oh, you got the spirit of anger, you got the spirit of this, and you got the spirit of that, and you got the spirit of sniffles and all this craziness. No, this is bad, man. This is this is something we need to bring forth to the world. If we're really Christians, we need to stand and stand strong. And I'm not joking, okay? And let's go over to chapter 16. Chapter 16, okay? We go to chapter 16, you see, it's all, it's all, in the, it's, it's all over the place here. Chapter 16, verse um, 9, okay? And men were scourged. This is what God did, because they were unbelievers. They, were, they did not want to believe in the true God. And men were scorched with fierce heat, and they blasphemed the name of God, okay? Who has the power over these plagues? And <clears throat> they did not repent. They didn't even repent then. That's that's terrible, right? So as to give God or give him glory. Okay. So they didn't even turn then. After they were, God was really putting heat on them, literally. Okay. And if we go to the 11th verse of the same chapter, uh, chapter 16, it says here, and they blasphemed the God of heaven. Right? The real God. The one and only God. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, they blaspheme that, that God, okay? Our God, the Christian God. Okay, remember, because of their pains and their sores, okay? And they did not repent of their deeds. In other words, they just continued to, continue to do it, and over and over and over. Bad deeds, okay? And we'll go on one last verse, okay? Now God's throwing hail on top of the earth. Okay, we're with the Lord, okay? But God's throwing hail on top of the earth. Big, huge hailstones. Listen to this. Chapter 16, verse 21. And huge hailstones, about 100 pounds each, okay? Came down from heaven upon men. <laughs> you know, baseball size of a hailstone could knock a person out and kill him. Imagine a 100, 100 pound hailstone. Okay, and men blasphemed God because of the plague of the hail. Because that 100 pounds coming down is like a 100 pound stone flying down. And if it hits anything, you can go through, you could, it, you, you can go through many floors of a building with that. Okay, because its plague was extremely severe. So they didn't want to turn. They didn't want to repent. They didn't want to stop. And if they would have turned, I don't know if God would have saved them at that point, but I got news for you. <laughs> they went too far already, okay? And the thing is, this, this blaspheming and cursing God and disrespecting God is all a spirit of the Antichrist. If you believe in the real Christ, you need to turn and repent of your sin and ask God to forgive you because you're in this age of grace right now and it can be forgiven, okay? So I hope you got something out of this. If you didn't get something out of this, but you know somebody else doing this kind of thing, send them this video, okay? And uh, maybe they'll repent. Lord bless you. And I'll be coming out with another more positive thing pretty soon, okay? Lord bless you. Have a great week. Go ahead, subscribe, you know, and, um, you know, hit the like button if you want to send me some comments. Go ahead, all right? And uh, Lord bless you. Have a good day. Bye-bye.